Well, I'm waiting for strong, but you need it through. I saw it by the on the groove, the beauty and the moonlight of a through love. She died at Sugar Kitchen Chair, and she broke the throne, and she got again. This summer, I worked with uh, filled photonic crystal fibers with Philippe Delay at the Manolia Research Group with uh, Institut d'Optique. Um, so we tried to confirm some previous theoretical findings with some empirical uh, results that we generated over the summer. So it was a lot of shooting lasers at almost visible fibers in dark rooms, which was, uh, you know, fun. So we got some good data. Um, I got to work with the LRMH, which is the, um, it's the laboratory for research on historical monuments. And they're a research lab that works on finding new or more improved ways of analyzing works of art and sculpture so that we can preserve them. And they work with conservators and scientists to make this happen. And it's really interesting. So this summer I worked on the nonlinear properties of metallic nanostructures, specifically gold nanoprisms and lead sulfide quantum dots. All right, so I worked with um, uh, Dr. Isabella Dorac uh, at ENS de Cachan, and uh, her work is on uh, nonlinear uh, optical materials. So I was performing second and third harmonic generation uh, to find hyperpolarizability coefficients. Uh, a really exciting thing for me was running my own experiments, having my own cells, and actually working with the project from start to finish. Because in a lot of previous uh, research experiences, I had just been given data to analyze, or it wasn't mine, I didn't have anything to do with it. So it was really nice having my own cells that I cultured and that I took care of, um, and then really just being involved in my personal project. So a couple of the coolest things that I got to do um, with my research this summer. Um, one, a lot of times you do research and you get a lot of results and none of them really make sense and none of them really exactly precisely answer the question you wanted them to. And you kind of get used to that and you move on with life and that's how you make progress. Um, but I did get lucky enough one time to get a result that just beautifully corresponded with uh, the sample that I was studying and gave me precisely what I'd been trying to accomplish for a long time. I ran, a, 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 ran simulations on a program called Esther. Esther is a program that uh, uses, that uh, allows you to uh, model 1D uh, uh, radiation, radiation interaction uh, models uh, through a Lagrangian code. Once I ran these uh, simulations, I created plots on Excel, fitted the plots for the rear plasma plume, because that's where the most uh, proton energy is formed, and as well as looked at the front of the plasma plume and created fits for both, recorded results, created error bars, um, et cetera, um, and, and, and created documentation for future researchers. So you learned a lot of physics. I think the coolest part that I observed was that I saw the collaboration between many teams, and I saw I learned about the process of creating a new form of technology and the steps that it takes to do it, and it even to the point of patenting the technology. And I thought that was really cool. And uh, to see how versatile just something as simple as nanoparticles can be in, uh, in biological applications. So I worked on a project uh, doing simulations for neutron generation. So I was mostly looking at um, the anal analysis of proton beam spectra, so that they use lasers to create a plasma and it creates a, pro a proton beam. Um, and I was looking at analyzing the spectrum and how to get a narrow energy spectrum. For so <laughs> from the first week, one of the most exciting things was hearing them say, let's go eat lunch and learning how to say that in French, because the food there is so good. Um, but as far as the research, uh, it was just really exciting putting the whole thing together. So they gave me an empty tabletop and some lenses, cameras, and equipment, told me to build it. So the first moment when I was sitting there in lab with the, two, the reference arm and the sample arm and just running my program to look for the fringes, when they ran across the screen, like I almost fell out of my chair. The neatest thing has got to be the, the lab itself. Most of the summer, I was working at a computer. 
um, which was interesting. Like when you get results, the pictures are beautiful and everything. But it's really cool when I got to go down into the lab and see what they were working on. I mean, I I'd never actually seen a place quite like that. It was almost like science fiction. I think the whole experience was exciting, but getting your program to actually compile is the best moment of all. And um, it was great because. With the films that we actually grew, we took reflectivity spectrums with a reflectometer and we got them to match pretty well to our simulation code. So it was exciting to see. Uh, this was my first time ever doing research and I guess the one thing I learned is that there's a lot of waiting time. Can't you hear, can't you hear that thunder? Can't you hear, can't you hear that thunder? Run, you better take cover. I think the most exciting thing for me, I think, was the first time that my lab partner and I finally uh, took our own scans, took our own pictures, and were able to figure out certain data points to fit this theory. Um, we were really, really excited because uh, we had always needed help before and always had to go uh, talk to our supervisor and say, hey, can you help us? But when we finally got it, it was like doing a happy dance. <laughs> so it's good.